Hello, what is up guys and welcome back to our introduction to financial math practice test. This is part two. Uh, take a look at part one if you haven't already. And anyways, let's get into part two. Sorry if you cannot read the first question. In the next part, I will rewrite the questions, but it says, what is the inverse operation of division? So the best way to think about inverse operation is it reverses the effect. It reverses the effect. The effect. So in this case, we're asking what operation reverses the effect of division? Well, that's multi multiplication, right? Because if we did 35 divided by 7 equals 5, now if we wanted to make it back to 35 equals 35, we would just multiply by 5 on both sides, right? And it's multiplication. The next question is, one-third of 2,570 is approximately. So this is 2,570, and this is one-third. Now, one-third is equal to 1 over 3, which is equal to 0 0.3 repeating. Now, in order to do this, we, can, we have to approximate, right? So we'll do 2,570 times 0 0.33, and that is 8 uh, 848.1. So this is um, pretty close to 850 or 860. I'm not so sure what it says over here, but this is the closest option. Next one, area is measured in, area is measured in. Well, let's just think about this, right? If we have a floor plan like this, and we have this is five meters, and then this is five meters. Now, in order to calculate the, the area of this floor plan, we have five meters times five meters which is equal to 5 times 5 is 25, and meters times meters is meters squared. So it's always going to be in a squared unit because we're multiplying two of the same units, so square units. Whatever you do to the numbers, you also do to the units. Uh, as, at least as a general rule of thumb. This may not always be the case, though. The next question is, a promissory note is... A promissory note is your written promise to pay back a loan. I really don't know how to like, um, you know, sort of eliminate the rest of the options to come to this. You just kind of have to know, know it. We do have videos on business math terms, though, and we have a Quizlet, which is linked on our website on business math terms, which you can use to study for the test. So that could be helpful. Now, the next question is, Andrew bought a car for $2,500 for cash. He expects annual cost to operate the car to be $650 every six months for insurance and $200 per month for upkeep and maintenance. He will get 25 miles per gallon and drive 1,000 miles each month. Gas is, oh, I'm sorry. This was $4 per gallon, by the way, $4 per gallon, $4 per gallon. What should his total operating expenses be for the first year? So operating expenses, this means this is irrelevant. So the other information though is important. So we'll pay $650 every six months. So that's $650 times two, which is $1,300. Then we also have $200 per month for upkeep. So that's 200 times 12, which is $2,400. And maintenance, he will get 25 miles per gallon and drive 1,000 miles each month. So how many gallons of fuel is he using, right? Because we want to find out how many gallons of fuel he's using to calculate the cost. So the gallons of fuel will equal 1,000. Wait, let me use a different color, actually. 1,000 over 25, right? Because he gets 25 and over 25 miles, he goes a gallon. And this is the number of gallons he's using per month. So 1,000 over 25. Um, okay, let me just redo that. 1,000 over 25. I could do this in my head, actually. This is 40 miles per gallon. So that's 40. So he uses 40 miles per gallon. Uh, n not 40 miles per gallon, 40 um, gallons per month, which, well, uh, he has 40 gallons per month, and he has to pay $4 per gallon, so that's times 4, and it's for a year, so that's times 12. So that equals 40 times 4 times 12 is 1,920. Now, if I add all of these up, this should come out to $5,620, which is option D. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, thank you, and goodbye.